Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review of the Pure Boost 1 and the Pure Boost 2 and kind of give you a side-by-side -side comparison of these models. I will have an on-foot section of the Pure Boost 2 as well towards the end of the video. If you guys also like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hopefully it will be informative to those interested in the Pure Boost 2. I will put a link in the description uh, to purchase the Pure Boost 1 or 2. Uh, if you guys are interested, they're both available on adidas.com, for example. Uh, but the Pure Boost 2, let's start uh, right now. So this, this model just randomly showed up the day of the launch of, or actually it was the day before the launch of the Ultra Boost. And the Ultra Boost is a flagship model. It's $180. And I'll, I will hopefully have them in my hands eventually here. But I was surfing around the website and I found the Pure Boost 2s. And I was like, what the heck? No, no promotions whatsoever about the second in the line of the Pure Boost. And uh, I was quite surprised to actually see it. So I was really kind of confused to see what was going on. But uh, they actually did have them online. And I held back from buying them. I waited to go to the employee store. And I kept calling day after day. And eventually they actually said that they got them in. So I rushed over there and picked up a pair. So I could show you guys. I actually want the black pair, not the, uh, the navy pair. Uh, but... Oddly enough, when I did a video, or w when I did the video for the on-foot section, the navy pair actually looked pretty good on feet. So uh, check the on-foot and, and see and weigh in and what you guys think. But here's the boxes for the Pure Boost 1, if anybody was curious. And you can see the price point is $120. Here is a box for the Pure Boost 2, $120. Uh, I went with a size 9 on the Pure Boost 2 instead of a 9.5. Um, just so you guys know, they fit true to size. So I really should have got a size 9.5. Um, not the nine, but it was just one of those things where I think I was so rushed when I was buying these because it was during my work lunch break, had to get back to work and all this other stuff. And there was a huge line. So I might've asked, I, I think I just picked up the wrong size. I meant to get a 9.5 ended up with a nine. So they go true to size. I'm throwing that out there for you, you guys out there that are listening, uh, but let's get into the details. Cause I know that's what you guys care most about, uh, to see this and the other one kind of next to each other. There's definitely a lot of changes that they made to the Pure Boost 2. Some of them I'm not exactly happy about, to be honest. Some of them uh, I think are, are vast improvements. Um, but the the thing is, is when you look at the, this model on the internet, like the picture, it looks like just a big black upper. You can't really see the variations between the materials as you can um, in the video, hopefully. And you can see there's a little bit of red on here, but you can see the, the variation between this material here and this kind of mesh uh, material on uh, the upper. So the side paneling has this kind of interesting um, suede type material. It's really, really light. But um, so first, it's one of the complaints to, to or I guess for myself from the Pure Boost 1, I love the this model. I love the overall design and shape. And I actually like this model better than uh, the Pure Boost 2 with regards to design. The, the parts that actually were unfortunate was this back collar area here and the tongue. Because it's so like rigid that if you wear these with socks, like ankle socks for me, which some of you guys hate. I like ankle socks personally or I like to wear these with no socks. Uh, it's a little bit, so it's, it's so rigid in fact it just kind of irritates your skin a little bit. Um, which is kind of an unfortunate part because you wear them so casually that, uh, to have them irritate your, your area, like that you wear them on, um, is a little bit frustrating, but I think they actually resolved that with a pure boost too, because they added an ultra thick cushioning on the tongue, ultra thick. I mean, I don't know why I said ultra, it's not ultra thick, but it's not like a Nike SB tongue, but it's way thicker than what you see on the original pure boost. As you can see side by side here, um, it's a much, much thicker material than on the first one. So I think that was a really, really good move. Um, the back tab is also another area where I think that, um, I, you know, I like that, that it has a pull tab. You can see it's a little bit deformed, uh, but I do like the pull tab idea better than what we got on this kind of heel cup on the uh, Pure Boost 1. Um, and hopefully because they, they added padding to it back here, and not this kind of rigid material that it won't have that same effect. And I tried these on without socks and, and it felt uh, pretty awesome. There is one thing that I did not like about some of the changes and that is the toe cap here. So on the Pure Boost 1s you can see it has this plastic toe cap. And actually it's something that for, I find surprisingly like helpful and, and useful. 
Um, it gives you some sort of a guard kind of at the end of your, your toes. This one does not have that. It's just cloth. And uh, I kind of am kind of bummed that they went away with that. Uh, this is feels a little bit more free, I guess, than, and I don't know. There's just something about this added little security of that cap that I, that I personally find um, eventful. Um, the side designs, again, side by side, you can see I like this design better with the three stripes versus this one with kind of the... the 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 netting um for the three stripes uh just just a personal preference for me but the other thing that they changed up quite a bit was the lacing uh you could see on the pure boost one it was kind of in this um material i guess it's a plastic material or whatever the size this one they went a totally different route and kind of has almost like a fly wire on a nike but you could see uh, just some loops instead of the the traditional holes uh, on there and then you can see they also um changed this dynamic down here where it goes from the uh the toe area and then it transitions to the tongue here you can see but then they went kind of more seamless approach on this pair which i kind of like this this one actually better with that regard because it's a little bit more um i don't know just a little bit more like a roshi run type feel where it's just like more open than this one for some reason, I, I just like the, the general look. The materials, I actually, it's a tough call because I really do like this material. Uh, but this material is actually really nice um, as well. So comfort-wise, the Boost technology portion is exactly the same. I mean, it's literally the exact same amount of Boost material. It's literally the same exact soles um, and the same exact tread on the soles, except for, obviously, uh, this one has some pattern and some kind of texture on it versus the other one. But it's pretty much the exact same thing, um, thickness-wise and everything, which is not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. It's an amazing technology, and it's an amazingly comfortable pair of sneakers. Um, you can see the insides are exactly the same as well. Uh, so definitely uh, kind of the whole midsole and the bottom, exactly the same. The only thing that they changed, which they changed fairly drastically, is the, the upper. And um, I don't know. What do you guys think overall look? It doesn't look like the Pure Boost. It looks like... A variation from that so some people won't like that some people will i'm definitely accustomed to this pair of shoes i have two pairs that i've worn a, like a lot like a lot a lot a lot i wear at least one pair a week uh to work because they're just super comfortable and i can wear them in the office um and i have multiple multiple pairs of the pure boost on backup in case i need uh, a fresh pair that i have two of the black colorways uh is an example but this model is one that I think that I could get into. Um, I definitely want to see some other colorways. This, this um, kind of blue one with a two-tone here just is a little bit off for me. I want to see an all-black colorway like I saw online. And I feel like I definitely like this one a bit more. Some of the changes I might actually end up liking more. Uh, I'll try to keep you guys posted on that uh, as I uh, I wear these. But um, the, uh, the toe cap, again, is just one little security point where I, for me, for some reason, it was just a little bit... Uh, unfortunate that they removed it and i also like the the subtle kind of um adidas like stripes on this one versus this one is actually more subtle because or more subtle more subtle because of the the stripes being the perforation instead but for some reason i just don't like the overall design look of that i do like the design look of the tongue and the, the back tab um so it's kind of a a, a nice move there uh in my opinion weigh in in the comment section let me know what you guys think i'll put on the on foot section right here. Uh, one other thing to note is the price point again. It was only 120 um, last year, and it's 120 this year. And I think that was an awesome move that they gave us the newer model, and it's the same exact price point. They didn't raise it five, ten dollars like what we see from Nike uh, or Jordan brand a lot, just because it's a new model. Like they charge you a little bit more. I really like the fact that they kept the price point exactly the same. It's interesting to me that there was no promotion on the shoes dropping when the Pure Boost 1s had such a cult following uh, for like sneakerheads in particular. Uh, and and um, it seems like the Pure Boost 1 has a lot of momentum that's going to be picked up from uh, the whole Kanye line because of... I mean, Boost is in everybody's vocabulary now, it seems like, which is a good thing in my opinion. Uh, a little salty that Kanye is the one that had to bring it there just because I'm not like the hugest Kanye fan in general. But I think it's, it's good to bring mainstream media's attention to the Boost... As soon as I was turned on to the Boost, um, and I tried them on, and I like realized how incredibly comfortable they are, 
it definitely made me think twice because I wear Lunar Lawn with Nike. I've been uh, a Lunar Glide fan from the very first one to the sixth one. I have all of them. Uh, so to transition to the Adidas Boost, Pure Boost, I have the Sequence Boost, I have the Rocket Boost, the Pure Boost. The Pure Boosts <laughs> are the um, ones that I enjoy the best, and, and a lot of sneaker people told me so, and it makes uh, good sense. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully it was detailed enough for you guys. And you enjoy the on foot of the shoe. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys prefer the Pure Boost 1 uh, or the Pure Boost 2? I think that design elements to the Pure Boost 1 for me like is better. But I think that the upgrades that they made for the Pure Boost 2 uh, are very significant. I just wish they would have left the, the side paneling design um, a little bit truer to the original instead of changing up the way they did there. But all in all can't be mad at what uh what they ended up bringing us and that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed again thank you for watching we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon peace guys